I remember one of the first times that it really hit me that I was like, oh shit, I might be gay. Oh shit! Was in middle school. I was over at a friend's house with some guys. The Wii had just come out. We were playing a game called Rayman Raving Rabbids, which was this really fun collection of like mini games. It was one of the launch games for the Wii. I remember there was one mini game we were about to play where you had to move the Wiimote and basically one of these motions, you were like filling up a balloon or something. And obviously us being guys in middle school, we were like, Oh, it's like jacking up. <laughs> One of the guys was like, okay, everyone, when it gets to you, you have to say the name of the last girl you thought of when you jacked off. And everyone's like, oh yeah, hilarious, dude. So we're going one by one, everyone's saying the name of the girl. And as it goes down, I'm thinking, huh, that's weird. When I jack off, I don't think about girls. I always think about guys. And then it hit me like, oh shit. Oh, shit. What if what's going on inside of my head is different than what's going on inside of their heads? And when it got to me, I just repeated some girl's name. So yeah, my first sexual awakening happened while playing the Nintendo Wii. <laughs> Thanks, Nintendo. Mamma mia! What's up, guys? Today, I'm going to be talking about my coming out story. Ha! Gay! Now, I am so happy and proud of being gay. It's weird looking back and thinking about the place I used to be in because being in the closet is the worst thing in the world. It, it's really terrible. Fucking thing sucks! And I don't want anyone to have to go through that forever. I wanted to share my story to tell you guys that you're not alone and hopefully maybe talking about my experiences might shed some light on what you're going through. So aside from the Nintendo Wii, I had some earlier experiences where I knew that I might be gay. When I was little, I would spend all my summers in Spain. I would go to the summer camp in the mountains. Very natureful, very pretty. Obviously it was a camp in Spain. So all the guys showered together. There weren't like any barriers or anything, which is like a big locker room type shower situation. I remember I would always get really anxious before we had to shower because it would be really hard for me not to get a boner while we were in the showers. Cause there was like all these guys walking around naked and then there was weird shit going on in here and down there. And I was like, this was a lot to process. And it's also funny because Spain, I feel like is so different about sexuality than America is. I think American because of our Puritan and Protestant background were a little bit more like conservative and closed. No, you don't do that. Cause like, I remember like in the showers in the locker room, there would be guys like sitting on the benches next to each other, like multiple, just like jacking off. And that was like totally normal. And I definitely had never seen that in America. And there's definitely just like a lot of general rough housing and like naked wrestling. I think that's pretty normal for guys growing up, whether you're gay or straight. I definitely remember that happening in the locker rooms and being like, huh, that's interesting. And then even weirder, we all shared, you know, a big room, like bunk beds at camp. It was like this common thing. A lot of guys would get together on one guy's bed um, with their clothes on, they would, like hump each other. I thought it was very strange. I think guys were just so horny that like they wanted to hump something, anything. So they were like humping each other. I remember like you were cool if you were one of the guys humping someone. Eduardo, are you gonna hump this guy or not? Like, are you cool? Yeah, I'm cool, I'll hump him. I wanted to like hump him so I'd be cool, but not hard enough where it looked like I was enjoying it too much, you know? Fast forward to middle school. That's when I had my Wii experience. Then come high school, most of high school, I pretty much knew I was gay. I just wasn't open about it. I grew up in Miami and I came from a really progressive family. So even though I wasn't out in high school, I was still comfortable doing certain things. Like I joined the gay straight alliance club at school, which is a great name because it means that you could join whether you're gay or straight. So I was like one of the straight allies in there. I also remember that I wrote my AP psychology paper on the origins of homosexuality and I got an A on it. Killed it. All throughout high school, I knew it was gay. I did not hook up with a guy until college, my freshman year when I was at NYU. So you may not know this, I actually did my freshman year of college at NYU before I transferred to USC. NYU, New York City. I remember we were on a party bus for a friend's birthday. We were driving out through New York, we're all getting super drunk. On the bus, there was a guy who I knew was gay, who we were talking and then once everyone was off the bus and heading home, him and I were walking together and he was like, yo, you wanna come up to my room to, you know, just smoke some weed? And I was like, yeah, dude, that sounds sick. We went up and we hooked up. That was my first time having sex with a guy. It wasn't the best experience. There's a lot of things they don't tell you about gay sex before you do it for the first time. I was still completely in the closet all throughout freshman year of NYU. I actually spent my summer after NYU in Paris for a French course. 
the first guy I ever dated was this French guy in Paris who was super cute and didn't speak any English. He was just totally French. It was awesome. We met at the gym. He was looking at me from afar and was like laughing. And at first I thought he was laughing at me because I didn't speak French and I was like asking someone for weights and I sounded stupid. But later we were in the sauna and he started talking to me and I was like, oh, okay, I think he's flirting with me. So then afterwards he gave me his number and then later he picked me up from my dorm on a moped and took me all throughout Paris. It was like the Lizzie McGuire movie. It was magical, it was amazing. And that was actually the first gay club I ever went with was with him that night. It was like across from the Louvre. It was so cool, it was like amazing. I was only there for six weeks. We dated for like four weeks while I was there. But I remember that being just like so fucking cool and magical, I don't know, like falling for someone in Paris the first time I dated a guy. After that summer, I actually transferred to USC. I joined a fraternity. During the whole fraternity process, I was still in the closet because I didn't feel comfortable coming out because I really wanted to be in a fraternity, but I was worried that if I came out, people wouldn't accept me or they wouldn't initiate me. After I finished pledging and I was in the fraternity, I downloaded Grindr for the first time and I was like going on dates here and there. Once I started doing that, I realized like I was sneaking around a lot. There were really close friends of mine, especially guys in the fraternity who I was lying to a lot. That was the point when I realized like I can't keep lying to people. So that's when I decided that I was just gonna start telling people. I remember calling my best friend from home, this girl Ivana. I was out on my front yard of the house where I was staying and I called her and I was like, hey Ivana, I have to tell you something. And she was like, what, what is it? And I was like, I'm gay. And she was like, really? I was like, yeah. And she's like, I knew it. She had asked me several times before if I was and I always denied it. And she was just really happy and for me and really supportive and that was really amazing. Then I decided to start coming out to all my pledge brothers. And I remember that I would always get really drunk beforehand because I was so nervous. I honestly expected this like big reaction from it. But the number one thing people said when I told them was, oh, okay, thanks for telling me. <laughs> like, why didn't you tell us sooner? We don't care. What I learned coming out to my best friends during that experience was I had built it up so much in my head as something that was a big deal and they just really didn't think it was a big deal. Eventually, I was back in Miami visiting my parents that summer. I told my sister and my brother first when I was back in Miami. I told them both while I was walking with them. I think my sister had known already. My brother kind of had thought about it already and they were both really amazing, really supportive. Then I had to come out to my parents. We went out to dinner. It was my last night in Miami. We were like at a sushi restaurant. That was probably the most nervous I've ever been in my life. I felt like throwing up. Eventually, I just like, I just told them. I was like, mom, dad, I have to tell you something this random like beat in the meal. And I was like, what? I like grabbed her hand and said, I'm gay. And it was like the most horrible, awkward situation I've ever been in. Honestly, I was actually really surprised. My parents are both really progressive and like were very supportive of gay rights and all that. The look they had on their faces was like, I just told them I had cancer. It was also really awkward because my dad was like mid email. So I said, I'm gay. My mom's like, what? And my dad like looks up and says, what, what'd you say? <laughs> like, he hadn't even heard it the first time and say it again. And then my dad was like, are, are you serious? Is this a joke? And I was like, no, it's not a joke. And my mom was like, are you sure? And I was like, yes, I'm sure. <laughs> I wouldn't be telling us if I wasn't. That was honestly probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Especially for me, I feel like I've always had a lot of pressure for my family. I was always kind of like the golden child. They had always had high hopes for me. Not that my, they didn't have for my siblings, but I was kind of like the, the well-behaved, perfect child. I felt like to come out to them was kind of telling them that there was something wrong with me. And I feel like that's how they felt. So I was no longer this like perfect child that they had envisioned in their heads. And that was really hard for sure. And the next day was just as awkward. My dad brought it up at lunch. My dad was like very, calm about the situation. He's very like, he's very like Obama. He's like, well, let's talk about this logically, okay? Let's address the elephant in the room. Last night, Eduardo told us he's gay. You all know already. And then my brother and my sister were actually making jokes and my mom was like crying, <laughs> which is like dramatic, but whatever. It's weird. For whatever reason, I thought my parents would have known already or they would have expected it. Today, they're amazing. They're so loving and supportive and I couldn't ask for better parents. But at the time it happened, they were definitely very shocked. My mom still refers to that day as el susto, which means the shock. There definitely was that period where they just kind of had to come to grips with the idea. They grew up in Spain in the 70s, like that just didn't exist back then. Obviously there were gay people, but they weren't open about it. And it was just this thing that was a big taboo and a big secret. I think my parents didn't realize that like we live in very different times and it's not like that anymore. People can be openly gay and be perfectly 
happy, contributing members of society. I'm so fortunate that I have had that crazy, amazing, loving support system, but I know there's a lot of people out there that don't have that. And even for me, like coming out is a super long, difficult process because you're not just coming out once, you're coming out all the time to all kinds of people. You're coming out to your friends, to your family. I had to come out on social media too, right? Every year I feel happier and more comfortable with who I am as a person, but I definitely was not always like that. It's funny looking back, especially like high school and early college, how incredibly insecure I was. Things have gotten so much better since then. I feel like I've evolved so much as a person. Being gay has opened my eyes to so many things. I feel like I've developed this really great sense of empathy for other people that I didn't have before. Getting out of the closet is the first step to really just finding out who you really are. I know there's a lot of you out there that might feel scared, but I hope you know that there's a lot of other people going through the same thing you are and you're not alone. It can seem really scary and horrible and insurmountable at the time, but you're a beautiful and amazing person and you can get through it. Coming out, it's scary, it's horrible, and it's also the best thing you'll ever do. Honestly, it really is. If you have any questions at all or need any support or anything, message me, comment, DM me if you wanna be anonymous for whatever reason. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget as always to like and subscribe and also hit that notification bell and I'll see you next time, bye.